What's going on everybody? Today we're going to do a comparison between AGB and Icon helmets. They're two of the most famous helmets in their price range. They range about 250 to 270 depending on where you're buying from. So we decided to do a comparison between these two helmets. Their vents, etc, etc, the feel and all the, all the good stuff that people look for when they're buying the helmet. of both of the interiors of the helmets. We're going to compare the helmet's uh, interior between AGB and Icon. Uh, so this one, it has washable removal of the helmet. This is the inside lining of it. As you can see, all this candidate, this is removable. This is for the wind and all the inside is also washable and removable. Same goes for the Icon as well. And one other thing to notice is look how this is more of an oval shape. Went out the icon one you're gonna see it's not shaped the same way it's more of a circle since it's a long oval shape it's a little bit different than the AGV one so the head sizes are different this is also washable removable as well their both bodies of the helmets are aerodynamic so they have they provide a great wind flow as well uh, the wind goes through them easily because they contain spoilers on each side because they compare spoilers on the back of each uh, both of the helmets. So we're gonna, so I will show you guys in shortly. First, you're gonna compare the ventilation systems of these helmets. Uh, the AGV one has seven ventilations. Uh, Icon helmet has five ventilation systems. As you can see up top, it has ventilation system right here. It has ventilation right here. Uh, Icon has it up top here, up top right here. But the AGV has one extra ventilation right above right here. So there's these are three up top, two over here. So now we're gonna get to the front. In the front of the AGV, we have uh, two ventilations right here. So for the Icon, there's one ventilation system right here, which is opened and closed from the inside. So that's, that makes it three for Icon and five for AGV so far. Now we're gonna look at the back of these. They both are aerodynamic for this reason right here. They both have spoilers. As you can see, they both have spoilers in the back of it. AGV has, a, in my opinion, in ours opinion, personally me, mine and Sean's opinion, that uh, AGV has a better wind flow. It has a better wind flow because it goes through wind a lot easier than, AG, uh, than Icon does. Not saying that Icon doesn't, Icon has a really good wind flow as well. So in, uh, in AGV, we have two ventilations in the back. So this takes all the, all the wind uh, through the forehead and it, it, it takes it out from the back side of the helmet. So all your hot, if you're in the hot weather, all your, uh, all your heat is taken out from the, uh, these two ventilation systems in the back. Same goes for the Icon as well. It has two ventilations over here, right here, one, two, and it does the same thing. It takes out the ventilation from the back. So that makes it five for this, that makes it seven for AGV. So while, we guys show, while we're showing you guys the back side of the helmet, we uh, might as well show you guys that these both of these helmets are DOT approved. The AGV has DOT ECE2205 and the Icon has DOT FMVSS218. Both of these helmets come in, uh, both of these helmets also come in seven sizes. So you can have uh, the sizes from ranging from extra small to excess, uh, extra, extra large. Same goes to for Icon, same goes for AGV as well. So now we're going to get to the next part of this. As you can see, the helmets are pretty comparable to one another. They don't look big. One looks bigger or smaller than the other one, in my opinion. But that's why their weight is not that big of a difference because the AGV has, AGV weighs about 3.64 pounds and the Icon weighs 3.79 pounds. And the shape of the Icon is long oval, while the shape of the AGV is oval head sizes. I also want to add another point to this. Uh, this age, this particular AGV is an extra large size. This particular Icon is a medium size helmet. So these are pretty uh, compared to one another. The sizes are pretty big. They have a pretty big difference one uh, to one another. So I just wanted to add that. That even if I don't know if you guys can see it clearly in the camera or not, but in size comparison, being this being extra large is looks pretty similar to this being a medium in terms of their head sizes. 
So now we're gonna go to our next point. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the visor and the vision of the helmets. Uh, as you can see, this one is popular for its glass, uh, office visor, everybody knows. Uh, pretty much everybody who sees this, they make comparison to the game called Halo. Uh, everybody talks about that for this helmet. The Icon one, uh, the AGV one has a pretty good vision as well. But in our, since we both use these helmets, uh, Sean uses this one and I use the Icon one, Sean uses the AGV one, uh, we have come to the conclusion that Icon does provide a little bit more vision than the AGV ones from your side. So you can look a little bit more to your right or your left in comparison to the AGV helmet. Uh, this right now is not the original uh, visor on AGV. This is aftermarket visor on AGV. This is original glass on Icon right here. The difference between the the visors in this one, uh, the both of them are, is that the AGV has a pin lock system, uh, easier access to removing or adding another visor to the AGV helmet, while Icon does not have a pin lock system, which makes it a little bit more difficult to change the change the visor, which I will be changing eventually, but I haven't gotten to changing this uh, this particular piece. Uh, but another part of this is that the AGV also has this this bottom lining right here uh, where you can press it down or push it up to lock in your visor so you, you can if you want uh, if you want you can have a vent flow coming in while your visor is down uh, this provides a lock system to keep your visor a little bit above its locking capacity so you can have a vent flow coming in while uh, Icon uh, does not have that but it ha does have this gap right in the front so if you keep your uh, front ventilation open it does provide a good flow of uh, wind coming in it also provides a good wind flow coming in from the forehead as well so another difference between these two is that the AGV uh, on the majority of the websites where you find AGV helmets they say that it's anti-fog uh, visors but that's not necessarily true upon using this helmet it, we have come to the conclusion that this helmet does get foggy but it is is anti-scratch the original visors are anti-scratch for AGV while uh, Icon is also uh, Icon is actually anti-fog it does not get foggy at all during whatever weather there is the the glass stays clean uh, it does have scratch resistance all over as well so you don't get any scratches etc all that stuff so that's one of the, the better things about the Icon which is slightly less in AGV that I would prefer over Icon uh, in that regard. Another thing that you guys, uh, people can consider, uh, a lot of people who like to ride bike, uh, motorcycles, they want to know if their, their windshield is, uh, if their visor is locked or not. So this, if you're interested in that, that's one of the things, there is a difference between the Icon and AGV is that once you open your windshield, once you open your visor, when you go down, it just goes down. It doesn't have any click noise for you to know it's it's locked in or not. You just have to just push it all the way down, and make sure it's all the way down. Whereas the Icon one, if you open it and you want to close it, once it gets to the bottom part, that's where it locks in. So that way you know you're secure, your visor is securely locked in uh, once you're on the motorcycle as well. So. We're gonna open this one real quick and I'm gonna show you that another thing. While AGV does not have anything inside, it does not have a sun shield. Uh, Icon does give you sun shield as well. So which is a really helpful thing during sunny weather. And if you guys live in warm sunny places, this is really, really helpful, really comes handy as well. So this is one of the advantages of getting Icon uh, for the, if you guys want a uh, sun shield as well. Since we're comparing these two helmets with one another, there is no uh, one helmet is better than the other. But there's one thing that we didn't like about AGV uh, in comparison to the Icon helmet is this. So which just basically means that when you put this helmet somewhere, anywhere on the ground or anywhere on the floor or anywhere on the table, etc. This helmet never sits flat. So there's always this concern of this being tilting everywhere and being able to fall on its left or right side, which doesn't really actually happen. It's just one of those things. And where AG, uh, where the Icon one sits flat on the, on the table, so you don't have to worry about moving that much or falling over and all that stuff. So there's another thing I want to talk about the uh, in Icon and AGV. They both have D-rings and their straps are pretty, pretty, 
good. They don't they don't they don't get loose. They don't get anything wrong with them, and it's pretty easy to get them together. But you cannot do it without wearing your taking off your gloves. So you, you have to kind of take off your gloves to strap these up, which is the case for most of the helmets, in majority of the times as well. So that's one. That's the the D ring for the AGV, and the same D ring is for it as well uh, for um, Icon helmet as well. The difference is that the Icon one provides a little bit more cushioning in the in the neck area in comparison to the AGV one, which is which also provides it, but it's a little bit more flatter. It's not as puffy. Uh, I don't know. Uh, some people prefer. But being more uh, fluffy on this area, some people don't. Uh, it really depends on the preference. So, but in comparison to one another, the Icon one has a little bit more fluffier uh, strap uh, the, for the ring as comparison to AGV. So this brings us to the final part of this video. So these helmets are not new in the market, but they're still on top of their games. Both of these helmets are really, really good helmets. They're not the newest helmets in the market, but they are pretty much still on top of everyone's list of the best helmets in the market. So therefore, we bought these helmets and we wanted to share our experience with these helmets and we wanted to share um, how we feel about these helmets. And we've been, uh, we have nothing bad to say about these helmets for the price range that we got them at and they have been absolutely phenomenal for us. So telling the pricings of these helmets, the HEV comes in at $279, where Icon comes in at $250. So AGV has $30 difference between the Icon and the AGV. So if they don't have that big of a difference in comparison to how they feel or how they go. But I do think the AGV provide a little bit more of a sporty ride than the Icon. But Icon does the same thing in, in, the, in that terms. But they're a little bit they're not that big of a difference to one another so that concludes our video for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you got some you guys got some insight on the video uh if you guys are looking for buying new helmets this these two helmets are really really good helmets uh for their price ranges and i haven't personally found any better helmet than these two so far at 275 dollars or 250 dollars so that's all that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, we have plenty of other videos about the reviews, the writing, and some DIY videos. So please check those videos out as well. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button, hit the bell icon. If you guys uh, enjoyed our content, please hit the subscribe button as well. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.